a very good morning to all of you my dear friends this is shafiq ahmed and you are all welcome to your favorite youtube channel let's learn together so a very good morning to all of you my dear students uh, let us uh, continue with the chapter ha na our changing earth ha na our changing earth means uh, earth our earth is dynamic it's always changing it is not same all the time it keeps on changing so i am just going to ask you few facts about the thing uh, that whether do you know all these things uh, let me tell you which is the highest waterfall in the world so uh, you might be knowing this one also that the highest waterfall in the world is what angel falls of venezuela in south america yes uh, so the highest water uh, waterfall in the earth you can say it is the angel fall of venezuela in south america and i can let you see that also watch it this is the angel fall which is there in south america uh, that is quite the you can say the highest one or the highest waterfall uh, in the world and that is in the world angel fall of venezuela which is in south america and have you seen this other waterfalls also nigeria falls which is located on the border between canada and usa in north america and uh, that niagara falls that is also one of the highest one you can see this is the niagara fall and you can see people uh, many of the people are going there and uh, with the help of the steamer or the ship they are going they are going close to that particular uh, scene or spot uh, where you can see the water is falling like it is falling from the sky and that is known as the niagara falls and where is it it is in between the border of canada and usa and exactly it is located in north america so one is there uh, angel fall in south america and niagara falls in north america and one more victoria fall that is in africa on the border of zambia and zimbabwe that is the victoria fall that is also one of the waterfall that is quite famous you can see this is the victoria fall in africa so why i am telling you uh, all these things and showing you these images because i have something to show you that is major land forms and the we are going to learn and discuss about the land forms that we are having in our <coughs> in our earth so uh, before going through that i want i also want to show you forms the landscape is being continuously worn away by two processes weathering and erosion weathering is the breaking up of rocks on the earth's surface erosion is the weathering away of landscape by different agents like water wind and ice the eroded material is carried away and eventually deposited the process of erosion and deposition creates different landforms on the surface of the earth so as you have seen my student that uh, we are talking about uh, i am talking about that about weather and erosion about the landform in the earth so let us discuss in uh, details about those things the landscape is being continuously worn away by two process the landscape where we are living where we are all living are known as that landscape or the you can say the lithosphere we got we also can you can also name it like the lithosphere also so the lithosphere you can see that it is continuously worn away means it is broken down broken down continuously with two different type of methods number one is what weathering and the other one is erosion so weathering and erosion are the two different methods which really break up the rock surface break up the earth surface and it really worn it down worn it ka matlab keh sakte hai that it is getting older and older and it is getting used up with the help of this weathering and erosion now let us discuss one by one about weathering and erosion so what is weathering weathering is the breaking up of the rocks on the earth surface when whenever the rocks on the earth surface on the surface of the earth they breaks up we call it weathering so uh, rocks ke tutne ko hi hum log kya kehte hain weathering kehte hain and what do you mean by erosion the next term so when those rocks are broken down into smaller pieces then those rocks and other materials they really are taken away from that one place to another place with the help of water wind and ice also 
so they are just wearing away of the landscape by different agents like water wind and ice that is uh, with the help of water many times you are, you might have seen in the video also that with the help of the water and uh, the sides uh, which are there or at the corner of the river they also get wear away you know that wo bhi toot ke jo hai pani ke sath beh jata hai we also see that so erosion is the wearing away of the landscape by this water wind and ice and when there is a breaking up of the rocks they are known as the uh, weathering so now those eroded material jo toot ke alag ho jate hain ya to whether it is rock or whether it is some landscape hai na when they just broken down then those eroded material they are carried away or you can say they are transported by water wind etc from one place to another place yani wo toote hue jo chote tukde hote hain hai na ya to wo rocks ke honge ya zameen ke honge earth honge to those materials are they are carried away from one place to another place with the help of water you know bahut barish ke wajah se wo beh ke ek jagah se dusre jagah ja sakte hain they are carried away from one place to another place and they are deposited at the next location you can say wo dusre jagah ja ke kya ho jate hain deposit ho jate hain and when they deposit they can form different type of landforms and they can form they can take shape of any type of landforms so this process of erosion as well as deposition create different landforms on the earth surface okay then my students let us move ahead to the next slide uh, what is it saying work of a river you know work of a river how does a river work so i have also one short video regarding this work of a river also let me show you that video also so that you can have a better understanding so watch this video properly work of a river earth work of a river when the river tumbles at steep angle over very hard rocks or down a steep valley side it forms a waterfall as the river enters a plain it twists and turns forming large bends known as meanders due to continuous erosion and deposition of the sides of meander the ends of the meander loop come closer and closer in due course of time the meander loop cuts off from the river and also forms a cut off lake like an oxbow lake at times the river overflows its banks this leads to the flooding of the neighboring areas as it floods it deposits layers of the fine soil and other material called sediments along its bank this leads to the formation of a flat fertile flood plain the raised banks are called levees as the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases and the river begins to break up into a number of streams called distributaries each distributary forms its own mouth the collection of sediments from all the mouths forms a delta work so uh, that was in the video related to the work of a river and let us discuss together what is the really work of the river the running water in the river they erodes or wear away the landscape na bahut tez pani aane ki wajah se river mein kya hota hai it really erodes or you can say wear away the landscape jo zameen hota hai na wo usko uske mitti ko hai na it carries away those particular soil from the shore sea shore sea shore ke side mein jo bhi kya hote hain soils those running water take away hai na this those running water tez pani jo hai that they used to erode or you can say wear away those landscape wo landscape ka shape ko hi change kar kar dete hain you might have seen many times during near the shore of the river so when the river tumbles at steep or vertical angle so you have seen in the video also that uh, the river uh, is used to tumble or you can say it moves up and down hai right? na sometimes it moves left and right up and down so it uh, tumbles down at different different angles vertical angles over very hard rocks hai na bahut tez pani jo hai jab rocks ke upar mein girte hain hai na when the running water falls from height and it falls from a greater speed also on the rocks then those rocks are broken down wo pani ke wajah se wo patthar toot jate hain and uh, down a steep valley it forms a waterfall aur wo 
you know, from the rocks it falls down to the earth and we see it in a form of waterfall jo hum logo ko waterfall ke shakal mein nazar bhi aata hai and now you can see as the river enters the plain now the river which is falling from the mountain na na mountain mountain se hote hue wo jo pani niche aa raha hai when it enters the plain when it enters the land zameen mein jab wo aata hai it twists and turns and no, it twists and turns like the snake if you you might have seen the snakes moving also uh, that it uh, the snakes do not move in a straight line they move curve and no, like the curve they make a uh, different type of curve while moving so the river when it enters the plain it also moves like uh, that particular snake moving you know it twists and turns many time and they form large bend aur wo kya hai ek taraf kabhi jhuk jate hain kabhi dusre taraf jhuk jate hain it takes bend na mud jate hain it turns it turns and they form as meanders aur wo kya ban jate hain meanders ban jate hain let me show you one of the image of the meander my dear students you will like it this one you can see over here आप देख रहे हैं जैसे द रिवर हैज एंटर्ड द फ्लड प्लेन रिवर जो है वो प्लेन में आ चुका है एंड इट इज टर्निंग लाइक दिस यू कैन से लेट मी शो यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ माय एनोटेशन पॉइंट आल्सो नाउ यू कैन सी ओवर हियर द रिवर इज टर्निंग एंड एंड ट्विस्टिंग एंड बेंडिंग ये रिवर जो है घूम घूम के आ रहा है एंड यू कैन सी व्हेन इट इज जस्ट बेंडिंग डाउन इट इज लीविंग सम ऑफ द सोइल एंड द मटेरियल्स दैट इट कैरीड फ्रॉम इट वो अपने आप से जो मटेरियल जो कैरी करता है रिवर बहुत सारे दफा देखेंगे डिफरेंट सॉइल्स एंड इवन डिफरेंट रॉक्स आर कैरीड विद द रनिंग वाटर सो दो सॉइल्स एंड दो मेटेरियल दे डिपोजिट नियर द बेंड जब वो घूमता है ना घूमते वक्त पानी जब घूम के दूसरा टर्न लेता है उस वक्त कुछ ना कुछ वो डिपोजिट कर देता है कॉर्नर में यू कैन सी ओवर इयर दैट ब्लैक so as you can see my students that the uh, whenever the river is getting or turning whenever it is turning it is leaving some soils and other materials at the corner and these soils or which are just left over at the corner they form a landscape wo zameen ki tarah tarah wo ban jata hai it forms like a land and that is known as the meander you can see that is known as the meander and you can see over here these are the known as leaves you can see leaves leaves kisko bolte hain when those uh, materials are just uh, far away from that particular river kabhi kabhi tez pani ki wajah se overflow hone ki wajah se kya hota hai those uh, materials which are there in the water or soil you can say or other material rocks are also they just move away from the or you can say that they just flow फ्लो फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द रिवर टू अदर लैंड है ना थोड़े दूर में जाके वो गिर जाता है वो सारे मेटेरियल ड्यू टू ओवर फ्लो और पानी तो वापस चले जाता है अपने रिवर में बट दो मेटेरियल दे लाई डाउन एट दैट पर्टिकुलर प्लेस एंड यू कैन से दे आर नोन एज लीव ये इन लोग को हम लोग लीव कहते हैं ओके लेटेस्ट मूव है वी हैव गॉट थ्रू Uh, we have got through about uh, the meanders and let me show you the uh, one of the video also related to meander uh, watch it carefully meanders the course of a river comprises of three distinct parts first is the upper or the mountain course where the river originates Here the velocity of the water is faster due to the steep gradient so you can see my students over there you can see i am showing you from this particular image i'm trying to explain you that whenever the river start flowing from the top of the mountain you can see from here so the speed of the running water is quite high bahut speed zyada hota hai jab when it falls from the top of the mountain but as it as it comes down and down and down then it is speeds also get decrease or when it comes to the land when it comes in the land then it is the speed reduce very slowly it speed is quite slow the speed is quite bahut kam ho jata hai the rain water so when it comes down the mountain so let us watch the video on full the floor of the valley is not and the valleys are v shaped second is the middle or the valley course where floors are wider and the sides of the valley are more gently sloping here the velocity of the river is slower than the upper stage meanders are typical landforms found in this stage of the river the third part of the river is the lower course which has a gentle slope and is almost flat 
the river channel is usually at its widest and deepest here because the amount of water flowing within the river is at its greatest oxbow lakes are conspicuous features in the lower course of a river apart from the deltas where the river drains into seas now we will discuss about what are meanders and how are they formed meanders are formed in the middle course of a river the rivers flow through almost a flat plain in the middle courses as water flowing under gravity seldom flows straight for any long distance a winding course soon develops the irregularities of the ground force the river to swing in great s-shaped curves forming horseshoe like loops called meanders now let us see how a meander forms S-shaped curves forming horseshoe-like loops called meanders. You can see my students over here that this is the uh, shape of the meander when it forms. And uh, you can see over here this is known as the meander. So because of the twist and turn of the river, these materials are just carried over uh, and they are depositing at some places near the corner. This is known as the meander. Meanders. Now let us see how a meander forms. The water in a river channel flows faster round the outside bend of a river due to centrifugal force whereas it is relatively slow on the inside bends you can see over here when the river is flowing down and it is twisting and turning round aur jab wo turn karta hai you can see there are there are two type of speeds over there on the upper side and on the this we can see in the inside bend jo andar ki taraf ghum raha hai aur ek bahar ki taraf ghum raha hai so which is over the uh, or you can say outside bend the speed of the water is more at the outside bend while the speed in the inside bend it is quite less than the uh, if you will compare it with the outside bend you can see over here so the speed of the water are different in the bend the fast flowing water on the outside bend erodes the river bank and you can see over here in this over in this place that you can see over here that two of the different bands are joining over here you can see two of the different bands are joining right uh, because of the fast uh, flowing of the water there is two particular different bands these all the, the uh, these and these also they can join also so here you can see one or uh, two of the bands are joining together and you will see that it will cut off it will be cut off from the uh you can see uh, from that particular chain of twisting and turning whereas slow moving water deposits sand and mud you might have seen this one that this particular uh, bend was just uh, cut off from this particular uh, twist and turn of the river ye alag ho gaya aap dekh rahe hain isse alag ho gaya and you can see uh, whatever part which is getting cut off from the twist and turn of the river they are known as oxbow lake also they are known as oxbow lake and uh, watch it properly these of the ground force the river to swing in great s shaped curves forming horseshoe like loops called meanders now let us see how a meander forms the water in a river channel flows faster round the outside bend of a river due to centrifugal force whereas it is relatively slow on the inside bends the fast flowing water on the outside bend erodes the river bank whereas slow moving water deposits sand and mud on the inside bend at the site of erosion on the outside bend a steep river cliff is created the water piles up on the outside bend due to centrifugal force A bottom current is set up in a corkscrew motion which deposits the eroded material on the inner bank forming a slip off slope. In the lower course of a river a meander becomes very much pronounced. The outside bend gets eroded rapidly and the meander loop becomes almost a complete circle. Gradually the narrow necks of the loop erode further and intersect each other. Now the river cuts through the intersection to flow in a straight path. As a result, the meander loop is abandoned and it forms an oxbow lake. The oxbow lake later turns into a swamp and subsequent floods may silt up the lake. It becomes marshy and eventually dries up.
so my students you have you might have seen that video we have got a lot of things but let us discuss is also as we have seen in the video that uh, the river is twisting and turning and they are forming meanders i have shown you meander image also so due to this continuous erosion and deposition along the side of the meander the ends of the meander loop come closer and closer that we have seen in the video also so the end of the meander meander ke do end jo hai wo aapas mein kya ho jate close aana shuru kar dete hain and when they come close to each other they form one more uh, one uh, we can say oxbow leg in due course of time the meander loop cuts off from the river that we have seen in the video also that it cuts off from the river तो वो जो मेंडर लूप जो दो आपस में जुड़ गए थे वेन इट कम क्लोज टू क्लेजर एंड दे अटैच टूगेदर दे कट ऑफ फ्रॉम द रिवर एंड दे फॉर्म ए न्यू कट ऑफ लेक है ना एक अलग से लेक बन जाता है रिवर से हट कर अलग हो जाता है दैट इज नोन एज ऑक्सपो लेक At times the river overflow also है ना बहुत दफा क्या होता है रिवर ओवर ओवरफ्लो करता है जब बहुत बारिश होता है when there is too much rain then the river overflow its banks and which leads to the flooding of the neighboring areas neighboring areas में क्या आ जाते हैं flood आ जाते हैं ना बहुत बार देखा होगा आपने बिकॉज वाई वाई देर इज ए फ्लड बिकॉज द रिवर ओवरफ्लो वो अपने बैंक से हट कर ओवरफ्लो कर जाते हैं and the water comes to the village and to the cities and there is a flood everywhere so when they overflow when there is a flood it deposit layer of fine soil also and other materials और साथ साथ वो क्या करते हैं ओवरफ्लो तो हो जाता है और फ्लड भी आ जाता है बट विद द फ्लड देर समथिंग आल्सो कम्स विद द फ्लड एंड व्हाट आर दो समथिंग देस आर लेयर्स ऑफ फाइन सॉइल बहुत दफा क्या होता है फाइन सॉइल के लेयर्स भी बाहर आ जाते हैं पानी के साथ साथ एंड दे आर नोन एज सेडिमेंट एंड दे डिपोजिट अलॉन्ग द bank or you can say at the seashore or the, at the corner of the river they all deposit this fine layers of soil they deposit at the corner aur wo deposit hone ke baad jo corner mein nazar aata hai those materials are known as sediments and these sediments when they uh, deposit and when they when there is a uh, when there is two years five years 10 years time gap then they form a फर्टाइल लैंड और वो क्या बन जाते हैं धीरे धीरे फर्टाइल लैंड बन जाते हैं फ्लैट फर्टाइल फ्लड प्लेन जहां पर हम लोग जो क्या कर सकते हैं एग्रीकल्चर कर सकते हैं यू कैन सी ओवर इयर दे इन दिस इमेज आल्सो दैट वी कैन सी दिस वन दिस लीव्स आल्सो ये जो लीव्स नजर आ रहा है दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ ओनली दैट ओवरफ्लो ऑफ द रिवर है ना यू कैन सी एंड दीज आर द फ्लड प्लेन्स आल्सो है ना ये रहने के जगह बन जाते हैं वेदर वी कैन डू आल्सो एग्रीकल्चर वी कैन डू ग्रो क्रॉप्स आल्सो इन दिस लीव्स and you can see in this image the, there is a oxbow lake which has cut off from the river and ye river se cut off karke bahar aa gaya ye oxbow lake because the end of the meander they they they, they just came close together uh, to each other and they are cut off you can see in the image uh, let us move ahead my dear students uh, works of river is continued the raised banks are called leaves and levees we have seen the raised bank are known as levees we have seen in the photo also ki wo jo banks jo last mein jaake jama ho jate hain wo sediments they form levees as the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases and the river begins to break up into a number of streams hai na jaise jaise pani ka speed kam hota hai it starts from the top of the mountain hai na it starts flowing from the top of the mountain and when it comes to the land it speed decreases and it changes or takes different type of uh, path hai na alag alag raste mein wo bad jate hain they are known as distributaries distributaries sorry distributaries the river the river becomes so slow that it begins to deposit its load aur utna iska speed itna kam ho jata hai ki jo bhi cheez pani ke sath rehta hai wo wahi par chhut jata hai whether it is soil or whether it is rock it deposits each distributaries form its own mouth aur har ek distributaries ka kya apna ek muh hota hai ek apna mouth hota hai and those collection of sediments form uh, from all the mouth form a delta and it forms a delta you can see the delta image of the delta over here hai na ye dekhiye aap river yahan se start hua main river aur ye bahut sare channel mein bad gaya this is known as the delta my dear students okay that is all in this class we will see work of the sea waves in our next class thank you stay at home and stay safe my dear students uh, may god bless you all bye bye hope that you have liked the video and we will meet again in our next video release 
of the tutorial and if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the information of the next release of the tutorial please share it with your friends and others also thank you for the time being take care stay at home bye bye take care